Okay, this project was basically just to put a motor on a bike. Um, I bought a kit off eBay, 100 quid, 50cc. Um, and this is this is the engine actually fitted. Everything is now fitted on. It's the teardrop uh, fuel tank with um, that's the fuel filter, not the one that came with it because it had actually broken in the post. Um, but just one from Halford for like two pound fifty. And there's the carb on the back, and the air intake, fuel intake, um, single gear box inside, uh, exhaust, silencer. Um, I had quite a few difficulties with uh, fittings. Um, as you can see, the bars on this bike are quite big so to fit. Um, to fit the solenoid, I had to um, just use cable ties for now. I'm going to improve this later. Um, to fit the fuel tank, I had to use a bit of old computer casing, like cut into strips. Um, to fit the crank on the back, because I've got a disc brake hub, I had to just I actually had to just re-drill some holes in the crank, um, which took a while. With the with the drill, but you just got to take your time and you smile, um, and then it fitted quite nicely onto the this brake hub. But that also meant the chain was slightly off from the inside of the wheel, so um, I have to rely I have to rely on the the guide wheel now to pull it in, which might need improving. Um, both the engine mounts, um, the curvature on the inside of the engine mount, mounts were too small so I just had to get the angle grinder out and sort of grind a wider angle in there um, on the back again the same thing and the engine mount was too thick as well so I had to take a slice of that off which is what you can see there um, there's not many more problems than that. Everything is quite simple to overcome. Um, I haven't actually tried starting it yet, though, so looking forward to doing that tomorrow, but it's now midnight, so I don't want to wake everybody up. But there it is, untested. And I'll get back to you with a better video when it's tested. And if you're curious, that is the best beer in the world. Banana beer.